Well, this morning on Core Explorers, we're getting our game on. A Portland business is offering a unique dining experience for anyone feeling a little competitive this holiday season. Core Harlan joins us live from the Mox Boarding House. It's next to Providence Park to show us inside the board game store, which includes a bar and a restaurant. Core, this is a really fun spot. Well, particularly for people who are out of school for the break, people who may have taken a week for vacation around the holiday, this is a perfect place to come because, as you can see, they have an entire section of this uh, store devoted to retail sale of games. And I'm telling you, when I say entire wing of the store, there's hundreds and hundreds of different games in here, different themes involving uh, cooperative games, inspired guesswork games, domination conquering kind of games strategy games, role-playing games, on and on and on we go here. This is Megan Hansen who works here Hi. at Mox. This is really cool, by Thank the way. You. you have all these games for sale. You have games that you lend people to use here in the space mm -hmm. that exists here. And there is a significant amount of space here for people just to kind of unwind. This is meant to be a community space, Megan tells me here, a place where people are welcome to just come in and chill out play games over here. They have uh, this, this, uh, this area that we showed you last hour here involves some, uh, some table games, group games. Uh, think, uh, These are think for miniatures. Age of Sigmar yeah. and Warhammer and mm -hmm. stuff like that, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty awesome. Carl can show you that. Let's go back here because I want to hit two, two rooms before we take off here. One of these is the Card Kingdom. Tell me about that, Megan. So this is going to be our card game room. This is where all of the, the magic happens, literally. Uh, magic Gathering, Pokemon, uh, all the accessories that you can really imagine. Uh, we have a whole case in the back with, uh, with a bunch of old magic packs. Uh, so if you know the game, uh, it's kind of huh? cool to see a bunch of a, a little bit of history. Um, but and some of these are cards. Play. These are magic yeah. cards. Some of these are, you say, right? Yeah, Magic the Gathering is a game. It's uh, I think 26 to 27 years old now. Uh, but uh -huh. see, these are some of the older packs uh, that uh, that exist, and then we also sell some of the new stuff too. So any time a set comes out, Magic decks of cards. Yep, Magic decks of cards. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Anyway, a whole room devoted uh, to this kind of stuff here. Got about a minute left. I want to show people. Uh, the rest of this as well, because uh, when you get a game, if you buy a game or you borrow a game, you can find a place to sit down. You can also come in here to this restaurant, which is uh, as nice as any hotel restaurant, to be Thank quite you. honest with you, that I have ever seen. And it opens up into this area with great big booths to sit at a uh, table game here with a group of friends and play a table game for as long as you want. It has some big community tables here in the middle, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you're welcome to sit down and uh, eat uh, to your heart's content. We have a vast beverage menu, so beer, wine, and spirits. Uh, and then you can sit down at our tables and play games. We encourage it. I like this. One last, we've got about 30 seconds left. I want to show folks. They also have private gaming rooms here if you want to reserve a space for a small company get together, group of friends to get together. Come in here to a place like the Rose Room in here. You can rent this, and you can play my game right there. Core, <laughs> Cora, Rose, Rise of an Empire right there. These, these private gaming rooms, people are really, and this is for a company, small group, right? Uh, and whatever, they're, they're by the hour, and so if you have like a group of friends that wanna come and hang out in a nice private space, have a server, get some food, just relax in a place where it's just y'all, like that's what we're here for. This one actually opens up into two, so you can have like 20, up to 20 people in this area. Um, but this I think like, a lot of people that play like role-playing games and stuff in here, just like their monthly events or stuff like that. Places like just for y'all. I like yeah. how you describe that. This is called <laughs> Mox Boarding House, Emily and Kelly. It is at 19th and West Burnside. It's been here since uh, oh, the middle of the year last year, March, April of 20... July of 2020. July of 2020. Yeah. <laughs> so they've been a year and a half or so opening during the pandemic, but I'll tell you what, this is a great idea if you got some time off this week or next week and you've got some idle time, kids or adults. I mean, kids play this stuff, but adult, adults play it too. I mean, look at me. Look at her. We're just grown up <laughs> kids. Actually, both of us it's are just true. kind of grown up kids here. So for all ages here uh, at Mox Boarding House, come on down and check it out, particularly if you're into board games and all the rest of that stuff. This is... Uh, it's like the, uh, well, this is just like the extravaganza of board games. <laughs> yeah, no, it is really, really cool. Cool looking spot. Thanks, Core. We should go and have a, a board we game should. night. Get a group together. I, I 